that if I saw outlining, if we could just come a little bit closer, Coach, the microphone is a bit far, that um, the boys aren't happy that it went uh, the way it went today, but they were happy with the fight that was especially shown towards the end of the game there when things got a little bit physical. Yeah, I think uh, we played uh, some moments in the first half quite all right, uh, dominating the game. Uh, we just gave away two, two easy goals and there was a moment in the first half that we should have uh, pushed a little bit more the gas and um, finalized the game and we play a little bit too casual in some moments. Uh, and then the second half becomes much more physical, much more about duels, uh, speed and aggression. Uh, good football match, I think with, uh, it was played with, uh, with intensity. Uh, a good test. We're talking about a very good side, but I think Pirates uh, one more time showed that we can we can compete in a good level. Uh, but uh, there's there's things to 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 improve uh, the next week. And you're mentioning the fact that you know the goals conceded today were very pretty soft. That's been the theme on the tour, right? Five goals that have gone in the net, and it's doesn't look like any of the opponents really worked for a goal. No, I don't think so. I think. Uh, we are facing quality sides uh, with a lot of talent up front and they will punish every single mistake. And this type of mistakes used to happen in this period in precision when, when sometimes you don't uh, calculate so well or the fatigue is playing a role as well. Uh, but nothing to be really concerned. I think we managed to be very solid uh, in the games that... that uh, that uh, in, in we, we cannot just judge the whole game at the same time because we're playing 11 players in the first half, then it's another 11 players. So to say, you know, the team is solid or not solid or is vertical or not vertical, sometimes it depends a lot of moments of the game and the moments of the opponent as well. I want you to get back to the team here, coach. So wrap it up. I think uh, we don't want it to be a somber mood here. The score might not have been that way today, but wrap up the tour. Uh, how are you feeling? You know, we've had, what, 10, 11 days uh, in Spain, happy with what has taken place? Overall, yes, uh, tough precision uh, with uh, a lot of competition. We try to take every game as a, as a three-point game, uh, knowing the importance for, for us to, to represent uh, our football, to represent the brand. And I think the guys in that sense did uh, fantastic, couldn't be better in my opinion. Uh, showing the football that they can play in each and every game, compromise with the, with the things that we want to do as a team. Uh, discipline in the group every day, training, resting, preparing for the next one, no complaining, no nothing, just uh, every day on task. So I think that we, we're going back to, to Jogur in a, in a better space. Thank you very much, coach. Appreciate it. Good, uh, a very good one. Uh, I think you would have enjoyed it. For me, it's about exposing your players to competition and with a little time to recover for your, for your players. I'm sure you, you your medical team, um, the strength and conditioning, um, how proud are, are you of, of the team in terms of getting the players ready in a short space of time? Yeah, fully. I mean, uh, it's one of the one of the objectives in precision. Uh, we need to we need to push the training weeks to a level that when we go to the competition, we feel that it's a day off. And that's what we are looking for with this uh, amount of players play, played in a row. And we know the schedule in, in August in, in South Africa and in the continent is going to be very tough. And probably now we are more prepared than before. Thank you, coach. We'll let you get back to the team. There you go, coach Rivero.